what do you want this come this coming government to do for you and the point has been throughout issues that have completely been opposite of what anybody would expect because if you do not go there and ask and issues keep changing problems uh, our challenges change with time i mean the person who had uh, an issue to buy or, or buying diapers two five years ago has a different agenda is more interested in school fees the person who had uh, an issue of food last last uh, an issue of uh, fuel last week has an issue of food this week or this year five years ago the issues that we had i mean issues are very different a lot of things have changed the the tax regime the tax system has really changed a lot of things i mean we have been brought to a halt pure basics that people, you, you think you're talking about economy and telling us how the economy is growing by whatever percentage. We're not interested. We're interested in putting unga on the table that evening, not even that week, that evening. So that's how basic we have become. We have been reduced to dealing with basics. So you must listen and know what basics these people are talking about. So talking about basics, um, there was this uh, outrage about uh, Raila speaking about Mutumba uh, being for dead people and uh, now being brought to us to probably buy, but forgetting that the next guy who is saying that Mutumba needs that hunger on the table. What would be your take? First of all, I think it was very insensitive to talk about it that way, because uh, whether, whether it is an economic issue or not, those are Kenyans who wear those clothes. I am one of them. And um, we do not wear those clothes because we have a choice. We wear those clothes because it is what is available to us. It is what we can afford. It is what we have the purchasing power to uh, uh, buy. And therefore, I found it in very bad taste and very insensitive of a national leader to stand on a platform, on a national platform, and tell us that. It is very distasteful. Secondly, we must understand that Everybody wakes up in the morning to go and make a living. And everybody who goes to work is working to try and improve, improve rather, their, their future. And wherever you are, whatever sector you are in this country, it is the work of the government to create a tax regime that promotes the local industry better than promoting other industries elsewhere. If you create a proper regime, a proper tax regime, you will not need to tell those people not to buy Mitumba. You will create a, a tax regime that will make it more lucrative or easier to buy what has been created here or what has been made here than what has been imported. You will create capacity. We have artists, we have intelligent people here. We have creative minds that are going to make even better textiles that can be made out there. I mean, we lead us in, uh, in innovation. I mean, look at Safaricom, look at our products in ICT and everything. We have very innovative people. We just need to give them an environment for them to showcase what they got. And we're going to have better textile, better clothing, better fashion done here. Look at Kikomi. It's only that it's not expanded to large scale. I mean, you just need to create Kikomi and give them uh, an opportunity to have access to credit. And they're going to expand it. And we'll have better and more authentic African fashion that we shall buy. And you will not need to tell anybody not to buy Mutuba. You will not anymore or any longer need to tell us and to remind us that we are wearing clothes of mighty. We will do it. I mean, we don't do it because we know that. But we don't have an option. So don't, don't, don't shove it down our throats. We already know it. Thank you very much. My name is Kagombe, once again, and I'm vying on a UDA ticket for the parliamentary seat in Gatunu South. It is my appeal and uh, my prayer to you, the voter of Gatunu South. And really, to you, the voter who votes in this country, and even if you're not a voter, you still have a stake in this. Because once I get to Parliament, I'll be making laws that touch on your life every day. Even if you're an expatriate living in this country, we still need you to think about this economy. But I will address myself to the people of the Tuna South. I have been with you. We have walked a long journey. And I am making an appeal to you to elect me as a member of parliament so that we improve on our economy and so that we improve on our uh, sales and uh, growth and production of avocado, we improve on our production of and sales of milk, 
we improve on the markets for our other agricultural pro produced uh, goods like eggs and chickens that we are, are, are rearing. And uh, you know, I've come to you and I've told you that we already have.